Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Daily Mix. This is episode 7. Yes, 7. We are here. I already just released my top 5 favorite concentrate flavors, so check that out on YouTube if you haven't already, and subscribe to my channel if you aren't, so you get notified when my new videos come up. Right now, I'm putting on my gloves. We're getting ready to do this thing. While people are probably watching the Super Bowl... I'm doing my thing and I'm mixing. Not that I don't like football, because I do, but... Ian, I live in New England, so get that, right? Patriots are in the Super Bowl. But I don't follow football as much as I used to, and I have promises to keep. I'm going to make these videos. So today, I have an interesting mix. It was based on something one of my viewers commented on. And I also, I want to use some different flavors that I don't use too much. So, a while back during Black Friday, they had a sale at Liquid Barn. And I bought a gallon of VG because they were having a good sale on it. I bought my hand mixer and I bought a 10 pack of flavorings, like a sample pack. And I picked up some Liquid Barn flavorings, but... I don't use them too much, um, maybe because it doesn't have a dripper, or there is one that I do love and I use all the time, and that is Liquid Barn Strawberry Cheesecake. It is one of my favorite flavors they make from it. It's so good. It also is really highly raved upon, too. There actually is, on all the flavors, this gentleman made a California cheesecake with it. And it came out really good, and I've made some pretty good stuff with it as well. But, I want to use some Liquid Barn Concentrates in this mix. And so, I'm going to... Well, let's first talk about what I'm making. So, a viewer game... Oh, wow. I forgot to put one important flavoring I want to put in here. I'm going to have to change that. Alright, so we're going to change something up. So, this is the best part. See, we're constantly experimenting. So, a viewer asked me, he was like, oh, well, I would like to make a strawberry ice cream. I like strawberry ice cream. So, I'm like, that sounds awesome. Thank you for letting me know. I want a strawberry ice cream. So, today, we're making strawberry ice cream. And what we're going to call it is, just move this over. We're calling it Scream Cream. I know, I was thinking strawberry ice cream, scream. Doesn't really make too much sense, but... We're doing it. So I'm going to be using a couple Liquid Barn flavorings. The rest are regular, like regular vendors. But I'm using Vanilla Bean Ice Cream from Liquid Barn. If you have TFA Flavor West, use that. And I'm using Vienna Cream from Liquid Barn, which also Flavor Art or whoever you have. If you don't have the exact flavorings, just make substitutes. Obviously, it's not going to be the exact one-to-one -one mix. But, I want to get used to all these different flavorings and, you know, get to know them better. Because that's the best way to use them, flavor test, get to know them. So, I want to use some liquid bun. So, I'll get back to the recipe in one minute. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is all the flavor testing. So, I'm going to do a lot of flavor testing. And also, tomorrow, I'm going to release a video of my all-day vape. I promised you guys once I hit 500 subscribers, I was going to do my all-day vape. So, I've reached 500, we're going to release it, and you guys are going to be in for a treat, especially if you like cereals. But that is all I'm telling you right now, the rest you are going to have to wait on. So, I'm going to pause this for one minute, grab my other ingredient, and then we'll get back to talking about what we're making today. Okay, we got the ingredients all set, I fixed my arrow, sorry about that, sometimes you try to be so organized, and yet... Something happens, but live and learn. Okay, so we're making a strawberry ice cream. It just sounds so good. And I've never really done one, which is kind of weird. You would think strawberry cream, strawberry ice cream. You'd think I would have done it, but I haven't really done a good strawberries and cream. I'm Strawberry ice cream. So today we're doing it. So now let's go over the flavors that we're going to use to get there. Uh, first one we're going to be using is... Uh, Capella French Vanilla. And Capella French Vanilla, I am going to put in at 1%. 5%. 4%. 3%. 
followed by MTS Vape Wizard. Now, MTS Vape Wizard, what it's going to do is it's going to take all the high notes and it's kind of going to kind of balance everything out and blend it all together. So I figured a strawberry ice cream, it'd be nice to have that stuff all blended together. So that's what we're doing that. We're blending our togethers. <laughs> and then next up. TFA Ripe Strawberry, of course. You can't have a strawberry vape without ripe strawberry. Next up is uh, Capella Sweet Strawberry. Uh, TFA Strawberry Ripe's best friend. Now, all this recipe is going to be on ELR, and it's going to be called Scream Cream, and it's going to say the daily mix-up next to it under my JFM development account, and the link will always be in the description. So if you're new here, the link will be in the description for the recipe. And this is the first time we're mixing it up, so this mix is in process, and if this is your first time watching, we, we make mixes fresh here, you see the process, and then later on we go and test them out. And then see how we can adjust them from there. So right now we're just making a whole bunch of mixes. And then actually tomorrow is the first day we're going to start some real serious testing. And discussing how we can change it. And what we can do to recipes to make them even better. So that's tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> okay, so we just did uh, Sweet Strawberry by Capella. Next one up is uh, TFA Sweetener. Followed by the one that I accidentally almost forgot, but you guys know I've been on a bender with this one for a while, at least since I started the show. TFA Toasted Marshmallow. This stuff tastes so good, I wanted to see see what it would do if I put it in here. I, I think it would taste good. This marshmallow flavoring is just excellent. Got to order more of that, too. We're getting low. We're almost halfway gone on that one. Uh, next up, TFA Vanilla Swirl. Vanilla swirl is, it'll thicken everything up and help the mouthfeel. It's pretty much vanilla custard, but without the eggy notes. And after that, Liquid Barn Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. Liquid Barn. Gonna get some use out of that. And then, the last ingredient is Liquid Barn Vienna Cream. And today, like usual, I'm vaping on my RX300 with the Goon RDA. Just put for the first time some stainless steel coils in it. I wanted to get some use out of temperature control. I don't really use it much, but I wanted to see what the big deal is about. I mean, I've done it with pre-made tanks, but never with like an RDA. Alright. Yeah, and... Right now, I'm vaping on this, uh, uh, it's like a banana custard and strawberry, and it's phenomenal. I mean, I'm going to release some more of my try and true recipes soon, but I'm going to make those my more polished videos. Like, if you just saw my top five, they're going to be like more, like better camera work, stuff like that. This is just more of a laid back, kind of let's mix, let's just hang out. We're buddies, right? We're just having fun. So what it's all about. Have fun, mix with me, do your own thing while I'm talking, you know? It's good, and you're not there alone, you know? That's what I do sometimes, too. I put on the live shows, and I just do my thing, build my coils, vape a little bit. Maybe I'm just weird, or maybe I'm not. I don't know, but that's what I do. Okay, so now we got the ingredients ready. Now it's time to mix. So we're going to turn it on. And also, I had a subscriber ask uh, me to use a funnel. Probably to see me pour the VG or pour the mix in the bottle using a funnel. Well, today I'm going to do that. I'm going to use a funnel to pour the stuff in. I I guess they're just new and they want to see the whole process, which, which is fine. That's, that's no problem for me. I just thought in my other videos, like, it doesn't really matter if I pour VG because everybody knows what that is. But if you're new, I kind of can get what it is. And also, I have beginner videos, like the ones with the Vape Wild stuff. That pretty much goes from point A to point B. I explain every single little thing. So if you have a real big question and you're really starting out, start with those videos too. That will give you some like back information that you might need. Okay, enough talking. I've been yapping. I need another drink. <clears throat> okay, we are ready to go. French vanilla. 
by Capella. Sent at 1%, so that's 0.32 grams. Let me know if you guys are watching the Super Bowl right now, too, and who you want to win. Of course, I and don't unsubscribe because I say this, but of course I'm going to have to do Patriots, but I live in Rhode Island, so... I mean, I, you got to go for the home team, but again, I'm not that much... I'm not that much worried about it, so let me know what you guys want, who you guys want for the Super Bowl. Also... Next ingredient is listening is for MTS Vape Wizard. I wait to do that to the last because literally it's only a few drops. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so next ingredient is strawberry ripe. And strawberry ripe we are doing at 5%, so that's 1.56 grams. Okay, strawberry ripe is in. Followed by Capella sweet strawberry. And Capella sweet strawberry is in at 3%. And that's 0 0.90 grams. And if you're new to mixing by weight, every time you put in an ingredient, you tear out the scale. That's that button I'm pressing. All scales are different, so your button might be located in a different one. Um, I will put a link to this scale in the description because that seems to be a question I get a lot. What scale are you using? What calculator are you using? So I'm going to start putting that in the description. So if you want to know, check it out in the descriptions or comments below. So strawberry sweet is in. Next up is TFA sweetener. And TFA sweetener is in at 2%. Again, sweetener is optional. If you guys are worried about your coils or you don't like the vape sweet juices or or the juices are sweet enough for you, just you don't have to use it. I just that's the way I vape, that's the way I keep off smoking. Do your own thing, whatever works for you. So 0.6. Oops. Oh, well. Sometimes you might accidentally go a little over. Don't worry about it too much. It's DIY. You're having fun. You're experimenting. These are the planning stages. I'm not worried about it too much. And especially when it's a hundredth of a gram. It's such a low, low margin. Now, if you were working on a 10 mil or something even smaller, it would matter a lot more. But the bigger the batch, if you go a little bit over it, a hundredth of a gram, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, toasted Marshmallow. Oh, I love this flavor, guys. I need to get more of it. I'm running out. I'm getting into the danger zone. I don't know if you've been mixing for a while, but when you start running out of a flavor you really love, you like, uh, it's getting close. <laughs> All right, so toast of marshmallow, two percent, point six six. I've just seen what this flavor can do to some mixes. It's just amazing. There you go. Toasted marshmallow is in. Vape break. Oh yeah, and this is the first rule about mixing your own liquids. Have you vape with you, bro? Sometimes you're going to want to hit that. Okay. So... I'm going to skip the liquid bar and do that in a minute. I'm going to do vanilla swirl because I have to use uh, syringes to get in there. So, vanilla swirl by TFA. That is in at 1%. So that's 0.32 grams. And there's the tear button tearing that out. So, 0.32. There we go. So 
So now I gotta do the liquid barn vanilla bean ice cream. I'm using these little syringe things I got from CVS. Um, they're a fridge, that's your pharmacist farm, it's pretty cool. So it also is telling me in milliliters too, so let's see how accurate it is. It's 1.5 mils or 1.59 grams, so let's do one mil first. Okay. Tear that out. So I just pulled up one mil of vanilla bean ice cream. Gonna put it in. And now it's saying point so it's one point five mils. And it should do point one point five nine grams. So I'm gonna pull up another point five here. Now let's see how accurate this calculator is. I should put this in and we should have a total of 1.59 grams. So let's see. Uh, well, looks like that wasn't that accurate of a pull. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're having fun here. But that's why I like everything with droppers. It just makes things so much easier. You don't have to worry about the syringes. Okay. Last ingredient, liquid barn Vienna cream. And liquid barn Vienna cream is in at 1%, which is 0.3 mils. Okay. There you go. It's supposed to be at 0.3 grams. We're at 0.38. Next time I'm going to use some pipe bats. I don't like those things. You can't really control how fast they pour out. It's just that's why when I poured it in, it kind of like splashed because once you press a little bit, it just like jams forward. So if you guys ever use those CBS things, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, and oh yeah. Can't forget the vape wizard. This is gonna blend all everything together. And what I do is I always write it in the calculator at uh, 0.1 grams. I mean 0.1 percent in the calculator. But really, what it is is when you're using the vape wizard, at least what I do is I do one drop per 10 milliliters. Okay, so this is a 30 milliliter batch we're doing here. So I only put in three drops. That's all you need. Stuff is very potent. So you ready? One, two, three. And that's all she wrote. This little bottle will last a long time, long time. So if you're getting MTS Vape Wizard, you don't need a lot. You really don't. Unless you're doing commercial stuff or you have a mix that constantly uses it. Get a small one, it will probably last you a year. Okay, so now we're going to tear that out. Next up is nicotine. And we're doing this 30 milliliter batch at 3% nicotine. We are using 100 milligram per milliliter nicotine suspended in PG. You always want to shake your nicotine well. You always want to make sure you're using your proper safety precautions, minimum being gloves. Because if you get this on your skin, you're going to regret it. It's dangerous. This is poison in high dosages like this. Keep it away from children, pets, all that. I say in every my, one of my videos, just be careful, guys. I'm not trying to, you know, not trying to be the dad figure, but you know what I mean. I don't want anybody getting hurt, especially my viewers. We're all family here. Okay, so 0.93 grams. There we go. 
0.90 grams is in. Last up is VG. This is a max VG blend. So we need 29.1 grams of VG in here. Okay, there we go. VG is in. Now what I'm going to do is, see this is the mixer I got from Liquid Barn. It's just a milk frother. And this is what I'm going to use to mix it up. That's why I used a beaker so I can mix it up. Otherwise you can make it in a bottle and just shake it. But this helps prevent hand cramps. Just trying to position it so you guys can see. You just want to mix it very well just to make sure you get tons of small air bubbles in there. What you want to do too is because it's a high VG is you want to also do it towards the top. Like keep keep the milk frother towards the top so it like gets a lot of air in there and it mixes everything really nice. Because the second I go further in, it loses power and it slows down. So you need to stay up top so it has enough strength to mix the whole thing nice. I think we're good. Guys, that smells so good. But see, it's pretty much what you get. It's like um, it ends up looking like milk. And that's how you know it's all mixed up. So now we're gonna use the funnel, like I promised. So I just got a little funnel here, and it's inside the container. I'm just gonna pour it in. There you go. Oh, man, it's going to be hard now wanting to try this right now. We might have a winner right off the bat here, guys. So, oh, it smells so good. Like, this is the time where you guys wish you had smell of vision I'm telling you. Okay. So, I'm just going to cap this up. I'm going to label it once once we're done here. But so, that's pretty much wrapped up. That's uh, today's daily mix. Tomorrow, make sure you come by tomorrow because tomorrow we are doing the flavor testing. And we'll probably do a mix then too. And we'll discuss how we can change some of these recipes we've made throughout the week. And also, 
stay tuned because tomorrow I release my daily vape. And let me tell you, you guys don't want to miss it. It's very, very good. So, please subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed to this channel already. Leave comments below if there's something you guys want me to mix up or something that you want to see. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave it in the comment below. Like this video and share it. Share it wide. The more reach I get, the more resources I can put into this channel. It really does help. It does help. So, thank you guys so much again for watching. Please like and subscribe. And you guys have yourselves a great day.